I have always known how blessed I am to be born in the country that I am and to have been born to the parents that I was. Now, my parents grew up in a generation where most people didn't go to college and both of my parents did. My father came back from World War II and was able to go to college on the GI Bill. My mother just worked very, very hard to put herself through school. And so they always had an incredible value for education and held education in high esteem. And so they passed that on to me. So all of my life, I have been in some form of education. In high school, I taught swimming lessons. In college, I taught flute lessons. And then right out of college, I actually taught in the public schools for two years. And then I went into the corporate world in human resources and mainly in training and development, leadership development, career coaching, and loved it. And now I find myself here in financial services. And how did I get here? If anyone had ever told me I would be in financial services, I would have laughed out loud. But I've just learned that God has a really good sense of humor. And it wasn't about my plan, but I love the fact that I am here now. Because see, I made all the financial mistakes you could make. And now my passion is to educate people so they don't make the same mistakes that I did. So my name is Mitch Brewer and this is my wife, Caitlin. We've been married for 19 years and uh, we have three kids, Michaela, Ashlyn, and Kellen. Uh, we met at church and uh, she fell in love with me. So we're together a lot and we love that. Um, but we got married kind of young and we didn't necessarily know the trajectory of where we were headed financially. Mm. And so I was really, really grateful when um, Carla, who we trust implicitly, came into the picture and said she could help us with that. She is straightforward with you. Uh, if it's something's not a good idea, she'll let you know that. She remembers every birthday and anniversary. We get a card in the mail. She has a lot of experience, just experience in the business world, experience with family, um, experience making the decisions that we were looking to make and knew we needed to make. Yeah, that was really a no-brainer for us. So during those corporate years, I was downsized three times, taking about a $20,000 pay cut each time. And the first time that happened, my daughter was three years old. And even though I wasn't working, she still expected to eat. I don't get it. And she kept growing. She wanted you know, new shoes and new clothes. And so I had no other choice than to put that on a credit card. And I had racked up tens of thousands of dollars of credit card debt. I had never been in debt before. I certainly didn't want to be in debt, but I didn't know how to get out of debt. And it just didn't make sense to me to pay someone to teach me how to get out of debt seemed very counterintuitive. So it was through some very simple concepts and principles that I learned that we should have all been taught in the seventh grade. Things like debt stacking, and compound interest, and the rule of 72, and the time value of money, that I was able to get myself out of debt in five years. And now I'm on track for a wonderful retirement. And I thought, if I can learn those things, other people can too. They just haven't been taught. Unfortunately, our, our high schools, our colleges, just don't teach anything about money. And yet, most of us use money almost every single day. So that has just become my passion. It has really been a wonderful journey with Carla. Not only was she just a wonderful friend, she is so talented and so professional. Her character has always been that of uh, professional, integrity, um, and her general interest in our well-being. So I, I felt very comfortable in having that conversation. I think when you're our age, 
and you meet someone and they start talking to you about money, uh, investments, and things of that nature, it makes a big difference because uh, when you're 20, 30 years old and you talk about investments, it's one thing, but when you're up in 50s, uh, it's something else. And so you know that, uh, you know, you have to prepare for your, the rest of your life and you know that retirement is around the corner or we already have retired. So it was a thing of taking what you had and trying to stretch it out as long as you possibly could. You, I've always heard that you do not want to spend your last dime before you die. <laughs> so that was one thing she, part of her program, was to show us how we could take what we had and uh, make it work uh, over a long period of time. So what we do is we sit down with families, with individuals, with small businesses, the people that unfortunately most of the financial industry has just abandoned. So we help people learn how to make the money they work so hard for, work hard for them. And we do that by putting together a free financial plan. We lovingly call it your financial GPS. I don't know about you, I'm very guilty, I can't drive almost anywhere without using my GPS. And the beauty of a GPS is you only need two coordinates. You need where you are and you need where you're going. And magically, it gives you turn-by-turn -turn directions on how to get there. And so that's what we do with your money. So I love sitting down with a family or a small business or individual and talking about their dreams. We had quite a bit of debt that we were dealing with. Um, went to some Dave Ramsey classes, tried to uh, implement some of those things. Um, but we were thankful when Carla reached out to us and said, How is, how's your financial future look? Because there were holes for sure, and we needed to fill those holes. It's, um, as we say, it's a journey. <laughs> it's something we did this Last week, we gave two of the grandkids uh, some of the money for their 529. You know, it's just one of those things where we invested in them and we are expecting them to invest in our children, but we will help them along the way. Starting a family, we realized we really need to be deliberate. Yeah. Um, I mean, we now have a teenager, and before we know it, she'll be gone and she's going to start to drive and she's <laughs> going to go to college and we need to have a plan. These things won't just fall into place, kind of like we just assumed that they would. Um, but when we sat down and realized, okay, we need to make some wise decisions deliberately and consistently, um, yeah. it helped us. And you know, it can be a little scary to talk about finances, especially when um, you know you're not doing things the way that you think that you probably should be doing them. Um, but Carla, I mean, there's no judgment from Carla. It was, um, what path do you want to be on? Where do you want to see yourself in 10 years, in five years? Um, and are you willing to take the steps to get to that point? And um, yeah, it was so helpful. So we're so thankful that she was willing to do that with us. So I get to sit down and talk to people about their financial goals and dreams and then put together a strategy or a plan to help them reach those goals and dreams. So I get to become just a little part of the families and the individuals that I work with. And I love my clients. We have not only a relationship, but a partnership that has formed. And I get to see them get married and have babies and buy houses and just become a little part of their life. And you know, what could be better than that?